Finally tonight, we remember those who lost their lives in that West Texas shooting over Labor Day weekend with the words of family and friends who are mourning their loved ones. 15-year-old Layla Hernandez had just celebrated her quinceanera. Her brother Nathan tried to shield his younger sister from the gunfire and was shot in the arm. Nathan wrote on Twitter, I did my best to protect you. I'm sorry. Joe Griffith, who was 40, was shot and killed in his car, sitting at a traffic light with his wife and children. He was a member of the First Baptist Church. His friend Rick, also a member of the congregation, said, for all of them to be there and be witness to that is just unspeakable. 30-year-old Cameron Brown joined the Army in 2007 and served in Afghanistan. He had to go fight in a war and come back here to be killed since this, <laughs> this is so unfair. Mary Granados was a letter carrier with the U.S. Postal Service. The 29-year-old was finishing up her shift when the gunman hijacked her vehicle. Her twin sister Rosie was on the phone during the attack and went looking for her. She told reporters she was laying on the floor when I got there. She was already gone. 35-year-old Raul Garcia was a long-distance truck driver and father of four from El Paso. He was headed to San Diego, but decided to take a detour to pick up his sons so they could join him on the final leg of the trip. It's like my son said, now he'll be a truck driver in heaven. The oldest of the victims, Rodolfo Arco, was shot and killed driving home from work. His sister told reporters the 57-year-old had moved from Las Vegas after the 2017 mass shooting at a music festival. She said he felt Odessa was the place to go. And Edwin Peregrino, age 25, was home for the weekend visiting his parents. He ran outside after hearing gunshots when the gunman drove by and shot him. His sister-in-law wrote on a GoFundMe page that Edwin made a difference in every soul he met. He made a mark. And we mourn each one of them.